Um, here's a question. Are you a fan of Steve Ditko? Steve, Steve Ditko. Why am I having a, okay, so having a Ditko, senior moment? Uh, Steve Ditko is an interesting character. He invented Spider-Man with Stan Lee. Oh, okay. Uh, was, a, was a comic writer for many years and was an avowed ob objectivist. So he, he read Ayn Rand at some point and he has a comic strip called Mr. A, where A is A. And um, he, he went a little, from what I can tell, he went a little crazy and became, uh, became a recluse and wouldn't see anybody, didn't do much work in his life. Um, but is, well, is known, I guess, as famous because of his Spider-Man. Is he still alive? <clears throat> just died at the age of 90, just like Stan Lee just died. They died within six months of each other. Hmm. Um, and he died uh, just about six months, nine months ago. We, we made attempts to communicate with him. Uh, he used to make a contribution to the Institute once a year, but he wouldn't meet anybody, wouldn't talk to anybody, he wouldn't see anybody. Um, but <coughs> he, Why did he become so, so misanthropic? I don't know. Why, why you know... He was a little crazy. Hmm. Yeah, why I don't know. I, I, you know, maybe, maybe the the rejection of uh, of the community around him when he did objectivist themed material, mm. um, maybe that was too much for him to bear. I mean, it's I, I think it's tough being an artist and an objectivist, particularly if you're an artist who writes explicit content, right? So it's it's where it, it's reflected. Your objectivism is reflected in the content. It's 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 rough. The, the 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 culture doesn't appreciate it. And because the culture doesn't appreciate it, it's it's a little tough not being didactic. Yes, and I think he was way too didactic. In a